Welcome back to the FSC Realism Farm Tours. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rossville Farms. Kind of did a quick walkthrough to make sure I knew exactly where everything was. And this is one of the larger farms that I've seen on our server so far. Over here we have a good bit of our vehicle, bale, and pallet type storages. We also have our silo storages for your seed, fur, lime, etc. This, this farmer here has a very, very nice and well laid out uh, farm. Tons of equipment and plenty of storage and just a lot of it's put away pretty properly. So yeah, it's kind of nice to see everything so well organized, I guess. Got the Debar shed over here with a bunch of decent equipment inside. It's pretty nice to see. Kind of rush through. Don't want to take too long on this farm tour. We got some more equipment over here that's all put away nicely. Definitely some variety with this farmer. Oh, you even left the, the hoods open on these. Nice. Got a road train. So yeah. All kinds of vehicles, equipment, and storage and it looks like he probably has a bunch of people a bunch of farm hands that help him out kind of have to with that many vehicles right Got a house across the street which i think that one came with the map and then we have another little area over here which just looks to be kind of the industrial type area in a way or well i don't know it's got the cows and stuff we got some chickens some more chickens that's the um kind of like it looks weird like that but i i, I get it because the pallets will spawn here and that'll pick them up so i guess that works and i got a bunch of silos here in the center i do like how they're all grouped together it's actually pretty cool it's usually how they are in most real life farms anyway right we have our <coughs> dry corn production there a couple Hayloft silos. We got our beehives with a bunch of um, flowers for them to be able to pollinate. We have the milk storage, a big cow barn, some equipment to support what is going on over here. Yeah, nice. Got a variety of colors for equipment. Some folks will kind of mix it up, and some will just have a certain color theme that they like to go with. We have some sheep over here. Very nice. Um, do we have something over here? We've got a shed over here. Oh, the door's open, so we can see that there's some more vehicles in there. Yeah, a lot going on over here. But, that's not it. There's more. <laughs> uh, we've got some what looks to be carpentry type stuff, so we got some wood production going on over here. Maybe pallets. I don't remember what those buildings are. Uh, we got our wood storage. Uh, ice cream. Probably another production to support that. That dairy. We've got uh, what is that? Is that strawberries? Not for sure. It might be strawberries. Another production over here. And some storage. It looks like we do cotton. It's a trailer for hauling cotton bales. And then we've got a mill, a sugar mill over here. So it's a, yeah, it's a very well laid out. And I guess they're leaving room for more productions if they want it over here. I think that's all of this farm. Yeah, Rossville Farms. Very nice. We'll go ahead and do a quick flyover of everything. I think that's the next farm over. Could be wrong, but we'll just take a look at these here. So, pretty nice little setup. Have different sections of the farm, which it may have just been the farmer kind of he built this section and then he decided he wanted to add, you know, expand and get this and that and 
that's where he expanded to, and maybe that's the land that was open, so on and so forth. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice little setup he's got going here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you do your farm like this, or do you think this is too industrious? Let us know what you think in the comments, and, well, appreciate you watching.